Hey YouTube, this will be the last part in my beginner's guide to Fire Emblem Heroes. There's a pretty big community for Fair, and here's how a new player can get themselves involved. Firstly, I want to mention the FEH Heroes News Twitter page. This page tells you about the important information in the game anytime something is released. They're usually fast and on point with translations, but Reddit is probably faster for news because of that sweet, sweet karma. Anyways, you can also find a lot of other fans on Twitter too, sharing their summoning pools and just talking about the game. YouTube content creators usually also have a Twitter page, so you can generally interact with them there. Next of course is Reddit. There is a huge Fire Emblem Hero subreddit with over 100k subscribers. I will warn you that this place has a lot of fan art and memes, so if that's not your thing, then you'll either need to use the no memes slash arts filter, or just kinda avoid Reddit. There are great discussion posts on skills and the game too, but this is pretty rare in my experience. People here are also relatively nice, provided that you don't act too obnoxiously, so don't be afraid to post something. News and data mines do get posted very fast and as soon as they come out, so for that, I would recommend Reddit. Next would be Discord. There's a lot of Fire Emblem Heroes Discords floating around, so you just gotta find one. Many content creators will also have their own Discord channel too, so if you find someone that you like, join their Discord. Usually, there'll be someone for you to talk to, or if you want to just gush about the game, you can do that too. What else is there to say other than, it's Discord, you get emotes too. Naturally, I would leave YouTube for last, right? I guess this section will be uh, multiple mini recommendations for multiple channels. So I'm going to separate the channels into various categories in case you want to find a specific type of content creator. They'll be listed in the description and sorry if I don't mention you, but I decided to limit my choices to two channels per category. I'm going to put Nintendo Mobile on their own because they post banner trailers and fair channels. This will be the main place where people go to watch these videos so I'm going to recommend that you follow Nintendo Mobile for that. One more thing I'm going to mention is general channels, and the two I'm going to mention are Phoenix Master 1 and Omni H. Phoenix Master 1 is here because, duh, of course he is. Omni H is here because he does quite a lot of varied content. I suppose he's most known for doing the Setsuna Destroys X Grand Hero Battle with three Olivias, which is always fun to watch. He also experiments with a lot of various builds, which I find entertaining. Okay, so onto the list. First up is the Unit Slash Build Showcase, and we have Circle and Evenus. For Circle, he has a legendary Black Knight montage, and he also makes montage videos for underused units too, which are also really good. Evenus is a Hinata YouTuber and is known for his big Ignis memes and Hoshiden unit montages. For the Arena slash Arena Assault videos, we have Marbles and Chaz Aria. Marbles has god tier thumbnails and a lot of great Arena videos that are fun to watch. Chaz is a rose sniffing editing god. Just count the amount of editing in one of his videos. Actually, just count the amount of editing in one minute in one of his videos. A shame he doesn't have Ephraim anymore. In the educational slash game discussion section, we have Die Thunder and Patrick Waddingham. Die Thunder does a lot of educational content, such as the Sleeper Skill series, unit builds for the latest units, and talks about various aspects of the game, such as the speed stat, Fire Emblem Heroes economy, and power creep. Patrick Waddingham usually focuses his educational content on the build side of things, so as soon as units come out in the game, he'll make a build video for them. He also does a lot of great chat videos with other FEH YouTubers as well, with discussions on the state of the game. The free to play players category is more of a category for channels that you follow to see how they progress through the game as a free to play player. First up is Medikite, which is pretty big on saving orbs and is a very wholesome channel. She also has a bunch of videos on how to save your orbs, so you can check those out too. Second is Strategist Master, who is also a free-to-play player that used to screen save your orbs for everything, but most recently had a change in philosophy and started summoning more. The free-to-play guides is a self-explanatory category. You come for the guides, you repeat the moves, and you get the rewards. These two channels upload solutions relatively quick too. 
the two channels are Barco Jam and Brotel. For the whales category, we have two channels that have done a lot of summoning. And if you want to see how glorious it is to spend money on the game, then these guys will do just that. We have Lubu and Mango7. The memes category is also pretty self-explanatory, so I'll just list the channels. We have Embor Boff and SD King Otax. There's a lot of unit soloist channels out there, and you can usually find them by typing in X Solos Grand Hero Battle slash Bound Hero Battle. I noticed that these guys also link each other's solo runs in the description, so if you find one of them, you'll probably find all of them. Where to start? Hmm. Well, I'm a really big Fire Emblem fan. I've been playing the main games for years and I've played them all, 1 to 15. And out of those games, my favourites are Fire Emblem 5, Thracia 776, Fire Emblem 9, Path of Radiance, and of course, Fire Emblem Heroes. Going back to Heroes, I've been playing since launch and I lean towards the more free-to-play side. As for myself, instead of literally anyone else, well, I guess you could say I like this character ever since I played Genealogy of the Holy War, and I got insanely hyped when the first new banner after release featured a Kaga game. Naturally, I summoned for him, but alas, nothing. As it turned out, many players deemed him a pretty bad unit, so, you know, I decided, what the hell, I'll make him great. If I don't spread the gospel of the sign of light, who will, you know? I can't really think of anything else, so I'll just end the video here. I hope you guys enjoyed this series.